Fear Not, Episode 15. Hi, I'm Billy Atwell, and I believe that consistently facing your fears is the only way to realize your truest self and to make those confident choices that will help you to obtain your deepest held hopes and dreams. I have faith that this podcast series will show you that you are not alone, that it will strengthen you and give you courage to face your fears, and that it will help you to permanently cross over into a life of living beyond your fears. Join me on this journey as we listen and learn from others as they share their experiences in facing and overcoming their own fears. Hello and welcome everybody. Today you and I are joined by Maria Barnes. Welcome today, Maria. How are you? I'm fine and thank you for having me. Are you ready to fear not today? <laughs> I'm, uh, yes. <laughs> With more than 25 years of experiencing producing and directing media productions for nonprofit, commercial, and government clients, Maria has developed a keen sense of storytelling. She excels at creating marketing and information materials, working with graphics and digital content production teams, and overseeing quality control. Maria's talents as a writer has led her to writing scripts, newsletters, award ceremonies, magazine articles, technical manuals, website content, and other communication products. Her television credits several nationally syndicated series for PBS and a series that was distributed to NBC, CBS, and ABC affiliates nationwide. Why don't you take a few seconds to fill in the gaps and maybe give us a brief glimpse of your personal life? Sure. Well, I live in the Washington, D.C. area. I've been here for a number of years. I'm originally from the Midwest, but I grew up um, in Europe and South America because my father was in international business. So when I graduated from college, I've always wanted to live in an international city. And so here I am in the Washington area. So can you tell us what's been the biggest fear you've had to face and what you did to overcome it? You know, that is interesting because um, on a professional level, I have been freelance off and on for a long time. And, you know, with that comes uncertainty. So one of the fears is, you know, how will I, how will I pay my bills? How will I, you know, pay my rent, my mortgage? How will I live? Because you never know when or from where the next job is coming. But, um, you know, over the years, I've just developed a kind of a, a laissez-faire attitude. You just, I, I'm, I think it really comes down to faith. You have to just feel that if it's right for you, it's going to happen. It's just, it's like, it's like the universe provides and you just leave it at that and you go with the flow. I don't spend a lot of time planning. Um, but, you know, uh, that being said, when you're working on large projects, of course, you have to plan. But overall, I don't, you know, I don't really worry that much about it. It just seems to happen. Um, on a personal level, I'd say that the biggest fear, you know, I don't even know if it's a fear, but I guess most people would consider it that is um, having to face cancer and overcoming that. Is there some sort of daily personal habit that you use that contributes to your success of being so confident and staying out of that fear? Uh, yes, there is. I think um, one of the things, I mean, your faith really does get tested. And I'm not, let me start by saying I'm, I'm not one of these people that is um, what you would consider an overly religious person, but I consider myself spiritual. So my, you know, my I grew up in a family where faith, whatever your faith is, just having faith in in yourself and in the goodness of of all that is is central. So you know, it really whether you're you're out there freelancing or whether you're sick or whatever the whatever it is, if you have faith, I think you have confidence and you have an I the sense uh, that things will turn out okay, no matter how they appear in the short term. And so I, I think I just go with that personally. Could you share with our listeners maybe a resource that has helped you along your journey? Sure. Um, from the time I was 15, I would say I was very interested in things that you might call mystical or, you know, ESP or any of that stuff. So over the years, I've read pretty much everything on the market. And, but I never found anything that I felt was, I thought a lot of it was interesting and you know, I always enjoyed reading it, but um, when it came right down to it, I, I wasn't getting the answers that I really felt I needed. So I had seen a book on the shelves called A Course in Miracles, and um, I'd seen it for a long time. 
and it just didn't interest me. But uh, about 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more, I just decided to pick it up. There was a book that came out called The Disappearance of the Universe with Gary Renard, and it had been uh, published and promoted by um, various organizations. So I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. So I read it, and it just sent me back to uh, the bookstore to pick up A Course in Miracles. And honestly, that has been, um, it's really a course, and it's about forgiveness and faith, basically. And so that honestly um, has helped me every day get through everything, pretty much. Yeah, Marianne Williamson's really amazing. She's, I, I read that book about 20 years ago, and I've actually been thinking about rereading it myself. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting because Marianne, Marianne Williamson really probably uh, introduced many people to it, but I didn't come to it through her. Um, you know, I, what I was looking for, it, there were a lot of excerpts that she, she took, but for some reason that I had to read about the whole entire book before I, it really caught my interest. So Gary Renard's book did that for me, but you know, however you come to something, that's your path. And, um, yeah, so I do practice that. I've been doing that now for at, at least 10 years. And, uh, what really made me, it helped me definitely through cancer. There's no question. And because I couldn't take a lot of the medicines that they wanted me, you know, I couldn't do the regimen, the five-year deal. I just couldn't do it. So, you know, you have to you have to say to yourself, okay, so how am I going to get through this and how do I have the faith just to not do the medicine and just to go? And so for me, that was the answer. Um, and I do it every day. So there is a, I, you know what, it's a 365-day uh, course. And when I finish, I start again. So I just keep going. Are you ready for the speed round? Sure. If you could change instantly one thing in the world, what would it be? Judgment. I'd have people stop judging. And what's your biggest weakness? Hmm. Judging. <laughs> 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 I need to work on that. <laughs> uh, what's your biggest strength? Oh, um, having the, um, I'd say giving people a second chance and a third chance and a fourth chance. Do you have a favorite sound? I do. Um, I love the sound of those wind chimes when they're tinkling. You know, if outside I hear that in, the, in a nice soft breeze, I love that. So what individual, fictional or real, has made the most impact on your life? Um, I, ha I would have to say my father. Uh, he was one of um, the kindest people I ever met. And he was just a person of great faith. And every day... And I would say there were, I'm one of eight children. And I'd, I'd say that every day, most of us ask ourselves, would dad be proud of us? And, and you know, would, would our father be pleased that we're, we're making the best decision, the highest decision, trying to be the, the kindest people that we can be? And I think my father um, has had a huge impact in, in, in that regard. Do you have any parting advice for the listeners today? Enjoy every day. You never know. I mean, I, I will say that you never know. You just can't predict what's going to happen to you in life. Really, if you don't sweat the small stuff, just enjoy every day. It could be your last. Thank you for joining us, Jada Maria. It's been a great pleasure. And, and thank you so much for sharing today. I know it's going to make a big difference to everyone that's listening today. So thank you. Oh, my pleasure. And I've enjoyed it. And I wish everyone well. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, you cannot achieve everything, but you do have the God-given ability to achieve anything. So stay focused, out of fear, and keep on keeping on. Until next time, be well and peaceful. For more information on today's episode and guest, or for resources that will assist you in overcoming your fears, visit livingbeyondyourfears.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast, where three times a week we move to a life beyond our fears. 